Hey guys, I'm back. Yes, I'm looking tired. I am tired. <sighs> okay, for bed. Uh, I have a grocery haul, but we're gonna get supper going. So that just requires me to put something inside the air fryer and turn it on. And then I'll show you what we picked up. Well, 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 where did I put those? In the fridge? Oh, yep. I'll set you folks up right here. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. I'm just going to throw chicken strips on. I've already washed my hands. I literally just came out of the washroom because I always do that when we get back from the store. Anyways, uh, whoever wants a chicken wrap can have a chicken wrap, otherwise salad for today. Hey Luna. Okay. This is just going to go back here for now. I'm gonna go put these in the air fryer thing right over back. All right, air fryer is going. So we bought some grocery things and then I, of course, picked up some non-grocery things. First things first, five dozen eggs. We do still have um, one tray, but Matt doesn't want to go back to Costco for a while, so we picked up our five dozen. Also, um, the Alani protein shakes were on sale. The, I picked up, we grabbed the munchies one. They had two, cookies and cream and then munchies. And I think this is like a, what did Matt say the flavor? Like what it tastes like? I don't know. Anyways, there's 12 in here, regular price, $20. It was on sale at Costco today though for 14 something. Uh, originally we were gonna grab two, but I was like, we put one back and I was like, let's just get one. Uh, because we never had this brand before. We might not like it. I, I imagine out of the four of us, want somebody will like these. 20 grams of protein. Oh, I didn't even read the... 20 protein, 3 sugar, 10 carbs, 140 calories. Yeah, not bad. But, um, if these are good and are liked, then if we want, like, just easy, not have to mix our own protein powder. I might start picking up two cases of this a month because they don't get drank every day, just you know, for work or school or whatever. Because these are cheaper than the Premier, although the Premium is it Premier? Premium or Premier? That tastes that's my, my, my personal favorite. Anyways, uh, this is going on too long. We're giving these a try. All right, let's stick with Costco. Croissants, um, yum. We don't have any laughing cow cheese, so I'll just probably use mustard. I just like having some turkey and uh, cheese or whatever in one of these. They're not healthy, but you know what? We don't do healthy around here. We do healthy enough, okay? Uh, croissants. The kids are going to love it because I haven't bought these in like a month or two. I've had a craving for these for a while. Uh, Matt doesn't want me making them because, I don't know, he doesn't like it. I mean, I've made them once or twice and they don't turn out the same, but we got some Cineroll. I don't know how many is in here. Eight, 16. Anyways, pop these puppies in the microwave for 
like 10 to 20 seconds. Yum. I can't wait for that. So excited. Matt grabbed these. You think he'd be tired of eating these by now, but apparently not. All right, Costco, Costco, Costco. Um, I think most of what we got is from Costco. Exactly. I like throwing this stuff in the oven. Just throw it on a baking um, pan with some salt, a little bit of EVOO. One of my favorites. Dill pickle salad. I'm probably going to make up one of these or both of these. It depends on if everybody wants a wrap. If everybody's having a wrap, I'll make up one and then we'll put this inside the wrap with the chicken chips. Asparagus. We haven't had asparagus since last summer. Um, this huge bag was... It's on sale right now for four something. I don't know if asparagus freezes well. But, how many pounds is this? 2.25 pounds for under, for four something. And they're good sized ones too. Another great thing to throw in the oven, but you have to watch asparagus because it cooks faster, but throw do the same thing. Throw asparagus in the oven with salt, pepper, and a little bit of EVOO. Uh, favorite chicken burgers that come from a store. The Hampton House. The yellow bag. Um, there's over 20 burgers in here. There's 3 kg. Oh, there's 20. There, it says approximately 23. I bet you there's like 25 or 26 burgers in here. All white meat. Another great thing. Throw it in the air fryer at like 350 for 16 minutes. So that's fantastic. And then the last bag from Costco, a jug of milk, because, um, well, just because. I didn't find heavy whipping cream for that recipe, because tomorrow I'm making two crock pot meals. So that I can get several suppers, like, just done and whatever. But they did have whipping cream. I'm hoping this will do the same job. Uh, Matt asked if I'm making chicken balls anytime soon. I said I sure am. So he... I've never tried these, but Matt said he likes this kind of thing. Crispy vegetable spring rolls. There's two packages in here. So we'll make one of these when we uh, do chicken balls this week. And then of course, another thing of it, spring mix. We're almost out of the other one, so I picked up another one, and I'm going to do the same thing. Put it in the freezer bag with paper towel. Keeps it... It lasts a good week or two. Or so. So. Next up is going to be Walmart. I did buy some non-grocery things from Walmart. So don't come for me, guys. Don't come for me. Okay? Alright, first things first. Matt picked up this blanket, Velvet Plush Throw, antibacterial. I wonder if he realizes he's going to see Luna's hair instantly on this. Anyways, he wanted a new blankie. I'll show you guys the food items first. Two packs of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Do we need it? No. But I can't pass this up. So I picked up, because we go through a lot of boneless skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to put one of these in the fridge freezer, and then one in the fridge. Well, let's see. I need to open both these up, because um, I'm making double batch of um, Olive Garden past chicken pasta. So I want four chicken breasts for that, and then I want four chicken breasts for the chicken corn and chowder that I'm making as well. So I'll need to dig into this one as well and take one out. So two of these, and these are always $23. And you get a good amount of chicken in there. For Sunday supper, we always do chicken or pork roast. We don't have any chicken, so I grabbed this one. 
not happy about the price, $16.90. The reason why I'm not happy because you can buy the rotisserie chickens at Costco already cooked for like seven bucks. Um, I think Superstore charges $9. Nine, or, nine to twelve dollars is probably the average. <clears throat> $16.90 for buying one that's not cooked. But, um, yeah, that's going to be for Sunday supper. So that will also go in the fridge. I've also been wanting french fries. Just for, like, an easy thing. So I picked up restaurant-style pub fries, skin on, with sea salt, yum. And then quick, crisp, slim steak cut. So fries aren't something we really buy I tend to make homemade ones. And then pork carnita. We we're doing pork carnita not this week, but the week after. We only have one. When I cook suppers, unless it's like a supper today where I'm doing chicken wraps, I always like to have leftovers for lunches for people to take to work or to school. So I picked up another pork carnita so that when we do pork carnita night, um, there's leftovers. But this will go in the freezer for now. All right. Morning Crisp. Marvelous Maple Pecan. I like eating this as is. Um, or I like taking it and doing half a serving. Because the serving size for this is ridiculous calorie wise. But. Oh shoot. There's a lot of sugar. Anyways. If we put that aside. I like the Morning Crisp cereal cereals. They just they taste yummy. But if I don't have it as like this on its own, I like having it with Greek, in my Greek yogurt. Same with this. Coconut and cashew butter. Costco has the ginormous bag of this, but I didn't want a huge bag just in case I get tired of eating the same flavor. But this is one of my favorite ones. The coconut and cashew butter. This, I strictly use this in my um, Greek yogurt bowl. What else do we have here? Um, just some snacky things. Honey oat flax. I thought this might be tasty. Um, this one I've had before. Dark chocolate, almond, and sea salt. These were three for nine. This one's opened, but I checked. There's none taken out. And then the dark mocha almond. I've also had this one. This one's tasty too. Uh, Iron Plus. Both Grace and I take this. Although Grace doesn't take it daily like she's supposed to be taking it. But uh, yeah. I take this every morning. Because... I'm borderline anemic. And then... CoQ10. I couldn't find the one that I normally get, so I just I picked this one up. They had a lot of the 100 milligram ones, but with that one I would end up taking it twice a day, so the bottle would go faster. So I did get the 200 milligram ones. I also take this every morning. Parmesan cheese. This is for one of the recipes that I'm making tomorrow. Um, one of them also called for cheddar cheese. It just makes more sense to buy the block, shred it yourself. And then uh, Monterey Jack. Who doesn't like Monterey Jack cheese? Um, let's see now. Siggy's high protein yogurt. This is unflavored. Yep. You can flavor it by adding cinnamon and or honey, maple syrup, whatever you want. Cottage cheese. They didn't have the brand that I normally go for. April. Okay, we're only in March. Okay. So I got this one. This one doesn't have very high protein. It's only 13 grams of protein. But I couldn't find one higher at Walmart. For the brands they have, they they didn't have one higher in protein, so this will do the job, though. And then, of course, 
um, salt-free butter. The only butter that Matt will use. All right. Now I'm going to show you the non-grocery items. After I show you this. Burger buns. So I did pick up two night shirts. This one is Care Bears. It looks like it's going to be too big. It's not going to be too big. I have... I'm a big girl, okay? What does this say? Look on the bright side. And I just thought it was cute. It's nice and long too, right? And then also it might shrink. I got and this is I got the extra large. But uh I got that. I found this in the men's section. Nobody knows this, but I really like Lilo and Stitch, especially just Stitch. And I found this in the men's section. Just a t-shirt. And I picked it up in extra large because there was a time or two I picked up some men's t-shirts. Because I just find men's t-shirts are better than women's. And I think I picked up a large and fit perfect, but then I threw it in the wash and it shrunk. So I got an extra large. Hopefully, uh, shrinkage will be minimal to none. Then I also got this night shirt. I wish these this would have been like normal t-shirts, but they're not. But Stitch. How cute. I'm on the lookout for a hoodie with Stitch on it. Grace has one that I bought her. Um, and like she doesn't want us wearing matching things, so uh, but she ruined it. And then the last item, I did see some makeup stuff. I had makeup in my cart, I put it all back. Let me just take some of this stuff off of here. I bought a new purse, time and true. I know, I know. You might be like, didn't you just buy a purse, like, a couple of months ago? Yeah, I did. But I don't have one this color. This here doesn't do anything. It's just there. What? Um, and it's like a very soft, like, fake suede. Cross body because it's the only way that I wear purses. And yeah, it's a decent size. Um, it's got one zipper compartment right here. And it does have like one little pocket right there. Pretty deep too, right? So there's that one. There's like a snap thing right here, which that's probably where I would keep my phone and keys right in there. There's like a little snap button. And then there's another one zipper compartment back here. And this one has a zippered pocket right back here. I don't think I've ever had one this color, but uh nice and light it would stay out of the way straps not too thick for my body size yeah it's it's good could be bigger but it's perfect for what I need for it's like a nice tan color anyways that's all she wrote folks air fryer is done which means supper is done so I'm gonna skedaddle and get this stuff put away all right folks all right uh, you probably won't see, well, will you see me tomorrow? We'll see. Probably not. Hey, Luna. Anyways, guys, have a good weekend. God bless. Toodaloo.